Hi everyone! Welcome back to our channel. So on today's video is going to be all about arts and culture. We are going to visit a distinctive center for culture and knowledge here in Dubai. So if you are a bookworm or not like me, this is a must visit. So join me and let's enter the biggest library in the UAE and let's meet the robot librarian here at the Muhammad bin Rashid Library. Keep on watching! Muhammad bin Rashid Library, a distinctive center for culture and knowledge in Dubai. Built along the historic Dubai Creek and designed in the shape of a traditional Islamic lectern, the Muhammad bin Rashid Library is the latest cultural hotspot that opened its doors in the city, a landmark unique to Dubai. The library is the largest in the region and representative of its collective cultural wisdom, educational, milestone, and continued forays in research and academic. Aside from enjoying the remarkable architecture and exploring the library, nine levels spanning 54,000 square meters, visitors can explore a fully digitalized laboratory and several specialized collections inside. Guys, as with most conventional libraries, there is no need to buy a ticket to enter. There is no entry fee required. However, it is recommended to download the library app and reserve your time slots online. It's a must guys. You cannot enter without pre-booking your visit. There will be security, so we'll check and scan the QR code that you receive from the confirmation email. And please dress modestly. No shorts, including for men. On the ground floor, we can see the periodicals library, the children's library, auditorium, reception and information center, and the cafeteria. We can find a number of newspapers and magazines in this section of the ground floor. We can also find a big auditorium with comfortable white seats. The staff here at the reception and information center will be able to guide you to where you need to go if you're looking for something specific to read and cafeteria that caters all the visitors to have their refreshments. The most colorful space not just on level 1 but the entire Muhammad bin Rashid library structure is the children's library besides some great reads for kids from popular authors pop-up books, interactive books, and so on. There are also toys, slides, tents, colorful cushions, small rock climbing walls, and more. Children will also be able to borrow iPads during their time in the library. The library empowers the visually impaired with a braille service. There is also a dedicated area providing a comforting and quiet space for people of determination and autistic individuals. Children under 5 are not allowed to enter, but those age 5 and over are welcome and there is even a dedicated library only for them with an indoor slide. Here, you will also find a kid-sized white robot who will help you find a book you need, read you a story, answer questions, and even take a photo. We're pretty sure it is going to be a huge hit with the kids. And here showing you my robot interaction experience. There is also a never-seen-before book delivery system takes place. If you want a book, the staff will help you put in the code for the book which will be delivered to you through some cutting-edge technology. The system Telelift will use the code that you've inputted into the system and will send a little robotic car to collect your book from the basement where all the books are stored. It is then deposited into a trolley system which will deliver the book to you on the ground floor in just three and a half minutes. The Muhammad bin Rashid Library is the first to use this sort of technology. It's a wow! The 
other levels of the library consist the Media and Arts Library, Maps and Atlases Library, and Young Adults Library where in the level 1. Level 2 is the study rooms and the level 4 are the conference rooms. But the most visited levels are the level 6 and the level 7 where you can find a treasure books written by Emirati and Arab writers about the UAE. Level 6 is dedicated to business, which means if you want to get some research done, learn about some great business techniques, or understand how the biggest CEO in the world started it all from scratch, this is the place to be. It's more than just a place for readings as there are a number of sitting spaces where you can get together for discussions. We are on the level 7, the exhibition level of the library. And now we're entering the United Arab Emirates past and present photographic journey. And now we're entering the treasures of the library. Just keep in mind guys that for you to be able to enter here, you also need a separate free booking and you also need to reserve your time slot, especially on the busy time as the security are also checking the QR code. The treasures of the library exhibition is located on the 7th floor. It displays an impressive collection of rare and old books atlases and manuscripts some of which dating back to the 13th century the collection includes unique copies of the holy quran early print edition of literary classics and latin translation of scholarly works from the islamic golden age among the rare exhibits is the first edition of atlas mayor of blue the crowning achievement of the famous 17th century dutch cartographer johannes blue the atlas contains about 600 individual maps and was published in 1662 in 11 volumes expert consider the mayor atlas to be the richest and the most beautiful of all the exhibition also includes the first edition of napoleon's description the egypt an encyclopedic record of egyptian antiquities and egyptian history in the 18th century it was co-produced by a team of hundreds of artists scholars critics and other professionals during napoleon's bonaparte's military campaign in egypt in 1798 to 1801 it was published in 34 volumes description the egypt is considered one of the greatest achievements of french publishing and a valuable historical record of egypt in the 18th century the exhibition also features the first edition of the Arab and World Cultures, scarce Arabic periodicals from the Arab world and the diaspora, and a fine collection of autographs from world personalities. The treasures of the library exhibition also includes traditional tools
Located at the back outside of the library is the Garden of Coats. There are colorful pillars that feature 60 of Sheikh Mohammed's most profound coats. Reflecting the true multiculturalism of the UAE, these coats are written in a variety of different languages including English, Arabic, Spanish, Burmese, Bosnian, Korean, Urdu, Irish, and Amharic. Those columns looks like fruitful trees of knowledge, embroidered with wisdom, colored with science, and open to other cultures and human civilization. His Highness, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and the ruler of Dubai, reflects his unique vision of leadership and aspects of the country, culture, knowledge, and educational progress. At first glance, the building looks like an open book, but there is also much more to it. According to the project's website, the building has been built in shape of Rihal, a traditional wooden book rest used to hold the Holy Quran. Rihal is an X-shaped foldable lectern used for placing the Holy Book as the faithful recite it. The Muhammad bin Rashid Library is the biggest cultural center and library of its kind in MENA region and the seven-story building has over a million books and six million research theses. In addition to 10 main library collections, the project features conference centers and exhibition spaces. Accessible to all and a wonderful addition to the city's top spots for leisure and learning, the library also offers a membership program for residents, much to the delight of Dubai's avid readers. Adjacent to the scenic Jeddah waterfront, the Muhammad bin Rashid Library is also close to the Jamil Art Center and luxurious Palazzo Versace Dubai and laid-back INK Hotel. Muhammad bin Rashid Library is in Al Jadaf on the Dubai Creek. The nearest metro stop is Al Jadaf Metro Station. And if you're driving, there is parking available right outside the library. But if you're heading there by public transportation, get off at Creek Station on the Green Line and you can either taxi it over. It will cost you around 12 dirhams and it's pretty close or brave the heat and walk it. The library opens from Monday to Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. and it's closed during Sunday. So guys, if you are in Dubai and if you're planning to visit this beautiful city, this library is a must visit. There are a lot of beautiful things inside that will capture your interest. And guys, it's a must. Don't forget to do a pre-booking of your visit on the website or on the app before visiting the library. Guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, leave some comments down below, tap the notification bell so that you're always updated every time I have new upload. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Life is so beautiful guys, keep smiling. Thank you for watching and see you on my next video. 